if your Google business profile was suspended, then it's likely that there's an issue that needs to be corrected before Google will reinstate it. Google generally isn't clear on what you've done, so you're gonna need to figure out what needs to be fixed. In this video, I will go over the steps to get your Google business profile reinstated after suspension. The three steps are how to figure out and fix the issues that went against the Google guidelines. We'll discuss the most common and then I'll tell you where to find the complete list. Next, how to submit your request for reinstating your Google profile. Then how to appeal if your request is rejected. And last, what to do if all else fails and you're ready to give up. I'm Tori Mathis, digital agency CEO, digital marketing coach at the Smart Arsenal and fixer of digital dilemmas just like this one since 2007. Let's get started. So step one is to fix the issue. A good place to start is to think of the last thing you changed before the listing got flagged. Sometimes it's something very specific and obvious, which makes this a really easy fix. Other times, most of the time, you're not sure what it is. And it can happen out of the blue without you having made any changes. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of digging. Let's review some of the main reasons that Google will suspend a Google business profile. Any content that's added to your business profile must accurately represent your business location and follow a very long list of policies and guidelines. When violations occur, Google restricts your content from displaying or restricts access to the profile or merchant account. Here are some of the most common issues. Prohibited and restricted content. All content added to the business profile must abide to Google's policies. These policies apply to all content formats, which include reviews, photos, videos, and more. Profiles and content that does not meet the criteria may be rejected from Google. Now, I take this to mean anywhere in the Google landscape. So this could be something that happened not just on your Google profile, but across any of Google's products. Now, these include things like fake engagement, impersonation, misrepresentation, inappropriate behavior, harassment, hate speech, offensive content, personal information, profanity, explicit content, adult-themed content, violence, restricted content, dangerous content, illegal content, child safety, terroristic content, off-topic, advertising and solicitation, gibberish and repetitive content, defacement and mischief. That's a lot. Now you can look into all of these more at the link in the description. The next one reason is eligibility problems. Google has the following restrictions and qualifications for your Google business profile. Your business profile may have been published and then later found to be ineligible. So this isn't just for brand new businesses. Ineligible businesses. To qualify for a business profile in Google, a business must make in-person contact with its customers during its stated hours. That means that the following businesses are not eligible for a business profile. An ongoing service, class, or meeting at a location that you don't own or don't have the authority to represent. Lead generation agents or companies brands, organizations, artists, or other online businesses, rental or for sale properties such as vacation homes, model homes, or vacant apartments. For more details on the eligibility, review the link in the description. This doesn't mean that your business won't be found on Google, like if people search Google, it just means that you can't have a Google business profile. The next problem is that your business does not exist according to Google. To keep data on Google as accurate as possible, Google uses information from different sources, such as user reports, and licensed content. If Google determines that your business doesn't exist in the location that you claim, Google will disable your profile. Businesses with a PO Box address are not permitted on Google Business. Merchants that set their business address to a PO Box will have their account suspended. Another problem can occur with ownership. Business profile ownership includes unauthorized profile access. When it's determined that a different merchant is the actual authorized owner of a business profile, access to other authorized users will be revoked. Also problems with inactivity. Inactive merchants that don't access their Google business profile for a long period of time may have their access revoked and content removed after adequate warning. Posting restrictions. When users' contributions to a profile are constantly unhelpful, harmful, or off topic, or generally violate content policies, Google will limit or suspend user-generated content for that profile. An example would be a series of poor reviews for a business for reasons not related to the business itself. Other issues may 
maybe with how you actually filled out your Google business profile, such as your business description. Now you want to use your business description field to provide useful information on your services and products offered, as well as the mission and history of your business. You should be upfront and honest about the information provided, focus on content that's relevant and useful to your customers that's easy to understand more about your business. But content that's irrelevant to your business or has no clear association isn't allowed. This includes low quality, irrelevant or distracting content. For example, misspellings, gimmicky character use or gibberish, even putting things in all caps. You can also get suspended for focusing on special promotions, prices and offering sales. For example, content that is not allowed includes things like everything's on sale, 50% off or best bagels in town for $5. You also can't put any display links. No links of any type are allowed in your business description. Other problems can be in your business name. To help customers find your business online, you want to accurately represent your business name. Your name should reflect your business's real world name as used consistently on your storefront, your website, your stationery, and exactly as it's known to your customers. There can also be problems with your address. You must be precise and accurate on your address. If your business rents a physical mailing address but doesn't operate out of that location, also known as a virtual office, that location is not eligible for a business profile. If you're a service-based area, you should hide your business address from customers. If not, your business profile will get suspended. If you show a home address or a PO box, you are going to get your account suspended. For example, if you are a plumber and you run your business from your residential address, clear the address from your profile. Other issues can be with your website or phone number, your business hours, categories, menu, or products. I will link more information on those guidelines down below so that you can look through this laundry list if one of the ones that we talked about isn't what's the problem on your business profile. So once you find these issues, edit your profile to correct the errors. If you have editing issues with your profile, you can contact Google support. I'll put that link in the description below. So step two, I know that was only step one. <laughs> It's so long. Step two is to submit the reinstatement request. To fix a suspended profile, you must submit a reinstatement form after fixing the issues. Go to this page and follow the instructions. I will put the link down below. Now, after that, you wait. Google will review and investigate and clear up most requests within two weeks. If your request is denied, you can appeal. That's step three. You can appeal a denied request. If your reinstatement request is denied, you may be able to prove your eligibility. Reply to the email that lets you know that your appeal was denied with pictures of your storefront and a summary of your business operations. Step four, if at this point <laughs> you are not getting anywhere, you have a couple of options. You can contact Google support or you can set up an appointment with a Google representative. I will put both of those links below. Your Google My Business profile is an amazing tool to reach new customers. So whatever you do, don't give up. As always, if you need help, drop a comment down below and I will help you out the best I can. Once you get your page back up and running, how about we get you more reviews on Google and across the web? I have a free review boosting bootcamp that is happening right now. You can join for free and get the step-by-step -step easy peasy instructions on how to get your business set up for reviews based on your industry, how to get more reviews and even how to deal with those pesky negative reviews. You'll also get a ton of done for you templates and scripts and tools to automate your review process. And I am giving you a professionally designed review landing page that will get you more reviews today. You can join for free at torymathis.com. Get more reviews. I'll put the link below and I can't wait to see you there.